Soy sauce chicken is a traditional Cantonese dish made with a whole chicken cooked in soy sauce. It is both simple and delicious. And after today, you too will be able to make this simple dish at home because that's what we're cooking. And you are gonna love it. Let's cook. Guangdong, formerly known as Canton, is a coastal province of the southeast coast of China. It borders Hong Kong and Macau. And also known as Yu Cuisine, Y-U-E Cuisine, hopefully I'm pronouncing it right, Cantonese cuisine is the most popular Chinese cuisine around the world because most Chinese restaurants outside of China are Cantonese. Soy sauce chicken probably has its origin in a more simple and even more popular sister dish called white cut chicken, which involves a similar process, but without the soy sauce. So the result is a chicken that is very tasty, but with a pale yellow color. I myself am a fanatic of Cantonese cuisine. I love its simple yet well-balanced refined flavors. And as with most refined cuisines, Technique is very important. Today we'll pay a lot of attention to technique, which is simple, but has a few steps. I cannot wait. But first, let's get organized. The French call this mise en place, and all mise en place is, is having all the ingredients and the tools that you need right in front of you. Cooking is always about ingredients, time, and temperature. And that is why it is so important to find great ingredients and pay attention to technique. We'll prep all the ingredients and put them in what we call the conga line, which is just the order in which you're going to use them in the recipe. Mise en place is less stress. Let's prep. And now it's time for shout outs. These are the people that are cooking our food, taking pictures and letting us know about it. You should try it. Roy Maltes made the fried rice and it looked amazing. We love it when you cook our food and we get inspired to do more. So if you cook one of our dishes, take a picture and let us know about it. Keep them coming. Okay, so we're ready to go. As you can see the conga line, is all set up right so what we're gonna do we're just gonna saute or a little slightly fry this the ginger and the scallion and then we're gonna add all the liquids all right so let's get started here this is two tablespoons of oil and contrary to popular belief you don't need a lot of oil in chinese cooking you gonna get this hot so what we're gonna do is we're gonna caramelize the ginger a little bit and that's gonna take about 30 seconds a minute not too much and these things, you, you know, we're not gonna use this in a sauce, but this is just to infuse the liquid. So it's all right that they're cut big like that. Just wanna make them a little bit thin because you want as much exposure to the liquid as possible. All right, so we're gonna add green onions. Same thing, we're just caramelizing them. About 30 seconds to a minute also. We're using this like a wok, right? I chose this size pot because you want the chicken to fit in there, but not too big, because you're gonna need a lot of water then. Okay, because you need to make sure that you cover the chicken with all the liquid. Okay, and now start anise and the wine. 
just gonna let that cook for a couple two or three minutes we want all the alcohol to evaporate and actually smell the alcohol nowadays it's very easy very simple to find all the ingredients you need here the only thing that you might have to go to a Chinese market to, and there are a bunch of them all over, is for the Chinese um, cooking wine. And maybe the dark soy sauce. As you saw, we are using a combination of light soy sauce and dark soy sauce. Okay, we're gonna add the soy sauce. They're both combined in here. So we use everything. We're gonna add the sugar. Chinese cooking is about balancing the flavors of salty, sweet, sour and um, i'm gonna start putting the water in here just using this because i don't want to waste any of that dark soy sauce there we go so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring this to a boil and simmer it at a medium heat for about 20 minutes we want all these flavors to infuse and then when that's ready we're gonna put the chicken in i'll be back okay so it's been 25 minutes at a low simmer, right? So now we're gonna grab the chicken carefully. Actually, I'm gonna use these two things here because we're gonna grab the chicken and we're gonna put it in the liquid slowly. Let it drop in there. And we're gonna add a little bit more water just to cover the chicken. I have put 10 cups, actually eight cups. The recipe calls for 10. So it doesn't not cover completely, completely, but every so often we're just gonna baste the top. So you wanna make sure that all the, the skin gets a nice brown color. Okay, so what we're doing now is that we're gonna wait about five minutes or so for the temperature to come up again because the, the ch oh, let me tell you this. The chicken needs to be at room temperature. So you wanna take it out of the fridge maybe an hour before, maybe a little bit more, okay? And the reason being is that the liquid is hot when you put the chicken in there is gonna drop the temperature, right? Now, that's gonna happen even with the chicken at room temperature. So we're gonna wait like five minutes or so for that temperature to go up again. And we're gonna take the chicken out. You'll see, we're just gonna take it out of the liquid, have all the li liquid drain, because inside of the chicken, you're gonna have some liquid that is colder than the one outside. So we're gonna drain it and then put it back in. So we're just draining all the liquid and then it goes back in cook the chicken at a low simmer for 25 minutes and after that we are gonna cover it because we were doing it uncovered we're gonna cover it turn it off and wait 15 minutes and then we should be ready to slice and to taste all right so it's been the 25 minutes low simmer actually medium simmer and 15 minutes just resting. Now, uh, remember that when you're gonna simmer, you have to actually wait maybe like five minutes or something for the temperature to come to a simmer and then you do 25 minutes, all right? All right, so let's open it up. And you can see here, it smells real good. And we, it looks this way because I had turned it a little bit to make sure the soy sauce color looks, it's all over. So I'm just draining, draining the chicken a little bit. Okay, put it right there. We are gonna use this liquid as a sauce as well. Okay, as you can see, this is not a very dark chicken, but it's good enough. So another thing that I did is that I used a thermometer to make sure that the inside, the thickest part of the thigh is at 100, at least 175 degrees. And it was, so we're good there. By the way, this chicken, you can eat it warm, but it's traditionally eaten at room temperature. While we were doing this, we made some rice, white rice. You're gonna see the recipe on the description below. And we're just gonna put some here. Put this. this is half a chicken right there. And we put some of the sauce on top. Okay, so let's get the rice. Finally, my favorite moment. 
man look at this i know that uh for the western palate and the western eyes sometimes we want our chicken to look a little bit browner but let me tell you it's uh it's amazing tasting all right now i made this optional this is optional for you because this sauce usually goes with a with the white cut chicken which is really pale um but i like it enough so much that i want to add it here too okay this sauce only has green onions ginger and oil and salt that's it it's a raw sauce and we had some of this cooking one right on the over the rice and we have a chili oil i mean a chili sauce i was gonna make my own but it was um i didn't have time I didn't have the right ingredients so we couldn't do it so anyway i'm gonna start with the breast right here i'm gonna put a little bit of the sauce here and a little bit of the chili oil and here we go Mm. Mm. it's so good it's so perfect it's so light it's really light but it has this um the soy flavor and um and with this sauce i mean it just it just works you have it's something you have to try mm. Mm. you know what i'm gonna do a dark meat mm. perfect it's salty it's sweet and very delicate let try with the rice mm. it just works the whole thing works. Mm. And um, you know what I'm gonna do? Before I forget, yummy dance. Mmm. Mmm. It's just awesome. And you know I love champagne or any bubbly with Chinese food and spicy food. Because everything balances together with the sweetness and the if you have spicy, the spiciness. And this is the real deal. This is champagne from France, right? It's the only one that can be called champagne. That's why it says champagne there, right? And this one says Premier Cru, which is the top of the top. So this one's like 40 bucks, but it was a gift from a friend. So I figured less, you know, why not? Alex and Abria, thank you for the champagne. All right, one more bite. Mmm, yeah. I want to stop and switch cameras because I want you to try it. Okay, so I am very hungry, so I can't wait to try this. Mmm, I love Chinese flavors. This is so good. Excellent. I want to try it with the little, this sauce. So the sauce is a raw sauce and it's just green onions and... Mmm. A little Ginger. spicy, it's so little, good. No, it's everything together, it's mm. amazing. It's a light flavor, isn't it? Very light, very delicate, but tasty. You know, it's um, it's Chinese. I love so, that about Cantonese food. It's so, so it's good, so delicate, it's so well balanced. Mm. You feel it's like it's like it's kind of salty, sweet, mm -hmm. but not overly so. This is delicious. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> mm. Yummy. Super good. Love it. <gasps> love, love. This sauce is amazing. And I like the chili. Mm. Try the champagne. Mm -hmm. So good. Really, nothing I can say. Mm. I want to drink that liquid. Mm. <laughs> the yin and yang, the sweet and sour. Mm. So amazing. In this case, it's really sweet and salty. Not really sweet and sour, but... Yeah, the sweet and salty. This champagne works. Thank mm. you, Santa Brias. Yeah, it really works with that, right? Mm-hmm. Guys, it's a good idea to drink Perfection. Uh, champagne with Chinese food. I never if, knew that. Yeah, even if it's spicy or uh, a little sweet or everything, it's it just mm. works. It's like perfection. It wraps up the dish very well. I love it. Great job, babe. All right. Okay, guys. Four things, subscribe, hit like, share with your friends, and cook it. Cook it. And I always say it, I say it every week, but you have to cook this. You really have to try this. I am sure that most of you watching this video right now have never made soy sauce chicken. Yeah, you're gonna love it. And so it, wasn't, it wasn't hard to make. It isn't, it's not hard to make. You, you know, there's some steps, obviously, right? 
but it's not hard to make at all. And it's so different. And it's like, you don't, you don't even have to go out to a Chinese restaurant. You can do it on your own, just, and, and the, the sauce is so simple to make. You don't even have to cook it. White rice, promise me you're gonna do it. Make it happen and let us know, right? You're gonna take a picture, send it to us, and you know, either any one of our social media handles, you're gonna see that, right? At Gus in the Kitchen in Instagram, and obviously here on, on Facebook the as channel, well. Facebook as well. So anyway, promise me, cook it, you're gonna do it, right? All right, so from Hong Kong, China, we are going to Italy. Ooh. Oh, I love Italy. Oh, and this is what we're gonna do. For the first time, we're gonna do a series. We're gonna have a four week series cooking the four pastas of Rome. Oh my God, you're gonna love this one. We're gonna do cacio e pepe. Ooh. We're gonna do alla gricia. We're gonna do carbonara. Mm. And we're gonna do amatriciana. Those are the four main pastas, classic pastas of Rome. So please come back and see us. Cheers.